today I'm in the paddock at Bangkok Drag Avenue and you'll see a lot of Hondas around me in fact everything that's prepared going on the track is a Honda and that's because it's Honda Day 9 where they find the fastest Honda in Thailand the fastest in a straight line that is the fastest over a quarter of a mile because the, the drag strip it's all about pressing the pedal going in a straight line so tonight they're going to find out the fastest honda in a straight line well actually not quite tonight it's a weekend event i'm here on saturday night this is the qualifying night this is going to whittle them down to the finalist tomorrow is the final but i've got something else going down tomorrow so there is no way i can come up here tomorrow and see the final but you get a feel you see the cars on the track you get a feel for all the Hondas here, the times they're doing, what's going on. So anyway, I'm going to crack into this. I'm just going to take you around really, get a bit of the atmosphere on the track, get a bit of the atmosphere in the paddock. And then there's like a modified Honda show as well. Get a bit of a feel for that. Lots of girls here tonight as well. Try and get some of that on my video. But again, the sexy car wash, YouTube, no way Jose, so I'm afraid to say going to be sexy but it ain't going to be on my video so we'll look at Hondas instead and it's pretty cool I mean this event is kind of street level it's kind of quite raw it's a little bit rough these are the hardcore Honda tuning people who come up to this event what I say on my videos is that Honda is the Japanese BMW here they love it I mean not only are the cars and the engines are made for tuning made for racing made for rallying made for the drag strip they're also what type people love and the 90s Hondas the Civic EGs NSX's the Accords of those era they are absolutely beloved of Thai people as much now as everyone else loved Hondas in the 90s they're absolutely loved here absolutely tuned to the max so we get the best of the best tonight and just now look at that this FD it's just got a really completely different kit I've never seen a kit like that before it looks really cool really different really stands out and that's what it's all about with Hondas all about standing out all about being one up on everyone else so I'm not going to go through the times and stuff because they say the final is tomorrow I don't know who's going to win but I'm just going to kind of show you the atmosphere show you the strip show you the paddock show you the car show show you what's going on so let's get cracking into this That is the biggest turbo I have seen on a Honda Brio in my life. That is the shortest exhaust exit I've seen on a Brio in my life. I'm going to pull you back so you actually see this is a Brio. It's a Brio, but it's no ordinary one. This is a drag special. If you go to the drag strip, on a Saturday night in Thailand, in fact, pretty much anywhere in the world, you'll see this transmissions being rebuilt. This is part and parcel of going straight over a quarter of a mile fast. You go through these. These boys are hard at work. They've got the diffs out. They're cannibalizing them. They're building up new ones. So gonna leave them to it because they've got a long night but that's what it's all about. Today 
we have the Honda Day. We have only one event per year. Is uh, actually we have two day, uh, Saturday and Sunday. The car is about 100 something car. Only the Honda many cars here. Not who we're expecting to meet at the drag track. Makazuo's son, one of our best customers in pack. Now his racing career is just going whoosh like that. I'm not sure about a drag career, but who knows? Stay tuned. This is what it's all about Saturday night. This EG has got more periscopes than a nuclear submarine. We've got a big intake there. We've got twin exits there. It's pumped with pipes coming out of the bonnet. And then I've got to say, this brown color, I absolutely love it. It's quite unusual and it's been nicely done. But look at the bubbles and cracking on this. This is absolutely pumping the heat and the paint can't cope with the heat coming up from the engine. It is absolutely mottled. That's one rough terrain. Although looking at the other bits, it started out pretty nice. This EK from Squad Service is absolutely immaculate. These guys, they build some fantastic stuff. They really look after the quality and the details. They've got an S2000 swapped, built, wide body. It's fantastic. They bring it to a lot of shows. These guys do really top-notch quality stuff. For sure, this is the highest quality finished drag car of the night. But you don't normally see cars of this finish, this immaculate, on the strip. To be honest, this feels like it should be a show car sitting in a car park on a Sunday morning at Cars and Coffee, something like that. Doesn't feel like it should be going up the strip, but these guys, obviously, they build them quality, whether it's for show, whether it's to race. So really good on them. They do epic work. As soon as I say the squad service car is absolutely the winner on quality tonight, I see this. This is just a fantastic under the bonnet. 
the cockpit has been kitted out perfectly this is a real serious deal the detail the quality here is fantastic and the lady who drives this car she is fast you've got a really quick eg that can really drop the times on the quarter mile that get you in the mix and you got a lady who can power that car fast it's a combination to be looking to win